Good evening, everybody. This is USS Princeton here. USS Princeton 2004 here. And it is February 4th. And the time is 8.04 in the evening. And, uh, The wind isn't blowing at all, so it's not as cold outside. In the uh, next few days, if the weather gets warmer, um, I think I'm gonna decide to ride my motorcycles. They've been in the garage for uh, close to a month, and um, I've got some weather gear, cold weather gear, um, and actually before I even owned this 2013 Kia Soul, I uh, I rode my motorcycles because uh, those were the only vehicles that I had. But um, it went well pretty much for the entire year. Uh, last year and the year before. Um, even when it snowed one day, I, I had to ride my motorcycle home, my Honda Shadow 750 um, Cruiser. And uh, even when it snowed one winter day, um, that was the only time that I I could have benefited from a car, but I still made it home safe, safe and sound. Um, I mean, the snow was uh, falling pretty heavily, but uh, I was going really slow and I, I made sure that I was careful. Uh, not to go too fast that I would slip and uh, lose control of the motorcycle so um, I'm, I'm accustomed to riding even in the coldest uh, weather Because I, like I said, I only had the motorcycles as my form of transportation, and um, Just um, in September 2012, I uh, I just uh, got this brand new 2013 Kia Soul, and I've been driving it quite a bit. As of right now. I'm looking at the odometer, it has uh, 1,943 miles. Um, so, since uh, around September 27th, 2012, I've been driving it. Um, and I've racked up close to 2,000 miles already. Uh, 
Um, in the next few days, if, uh, like I said, the weather gets warmer, I'm going to make sure to ride the motorcycles and just uh, use my cold weather gear. And I'm still planning on doing these moto vlogs. Um, I just started back up doing these moto vlogs. Um, and uh, I can still do them because I I have my camera set up for uh, so that I will be able to attach it um, on my helmet and so The only thing that I would have to keep uh, keep doing is uh, uploading these videos. Um, I used to have uh, been able to upload um, my videos from the Creative Vado second generation pocket cam quarter on the the older Dell laptop it's a 17 inch Dell Inspiron a laptop that I uh, that I had purchased uh, sometime around in 2007 and it's been working uh, flawlessly but uh, I had to uh, reinstall another um, operating system. Uh, at the time, I had a chance to um, just uh, pretty much. Uh, Go back to the factory settings by uh, rebooting the system and clearing out everything in the hard drive and just starting uh, with a brand new um, laptop basically and I, ha I, ha I was able to um, upgrade to the Windows 7 um, I think Ultimate Edition which is the highest um, Windows 7 operating system and uh, The the um, the uh, Dell laptop was reformatted and um, the uh, Dell was capable of running Windows, uh, but it was the 32-bit uh, uh, version. Because uh, that's that's the um, that's the best that my my old laptop from 2007 could um, could muster. Um, a lot of the newer systems are 64-bit, 
And uh, last year I purchased another Dell laptop because I was uh, pretty satisfied with my experience from my older Dell Inspiron 17 inch laptop. Um, I was pleased with uh, its uh, durability. But uh, recently when I tried uploading these uh, videos from my Creative Bado pocket camcorder, um, it would tell me after, after several uh, minutes uploading um, some files that there was something wrong with the server. So with these uh, servers um, not doing what they should I'm now using my my newer uh, uh, Dell XPS 17 to upload videos so now, instead of having two laptops to upload videos, I only have uh, one, which is the newer Dell XPS 17. It has uh, an Intel Core i7 uh, microchip, which is the uh, second generation, I think, uh, Sandy Bridge. chipset and the the videos still take a while to upload because uh, a lot of it depends on your internet connection and how how fast you can uh, upload these uh, files so the bigger the file size, the longer it takes to upload these videos. And I've been uh, taking a lot of videos recently of me uh, running my RCs at the racetrack. as well as taking some onboard videos with my Hero 3 Black Edition GoPro camera. And I've been recording in 720p at 120 frames per second. And recording at that quality uh, takes up a very large file size, so it takes a, a long time to upload these videos. But uh, even so, um, I'll still continue to make um, Moto Vlog videos. Um, recently I purchased another of the same Creative Vado second generation 8GB pocket camcorder with the maroon buttons just so that I would have another video camera to be able to do these Moto Vlogs if I happen to use up the 8 gigabyte uh, internal memory and uh, one of the downsides of uh, these Creative Vado pocket camcorders is that the the memory is not expandable so you're pretty much um, fixed with the the amount of uh, gigabyte space that you have on the certain uh, version of uh, these creative bottle camcorders 
So with a uh, eight gigabyte capacity, um, I have a few hours, maybe two hours worth of uh, space recording in in the highest HD and on these um, second generation Vados I am able to record in 720p which is the highest setting and uh, the reason why I purchased another one was that I was pretty pleased with the picture quality from the Moto Vlogs when I was riding my R1 so with a first-hand experience of, of seeing the, uh, the videos that I made um, I pretty much bought another one because I know for sure a hundred percent sure that uh, I will be able to pretty much mount these pocket camcorders the same way as my old setup um, another setup that I'm going to experiment with is the is with the Kodak PlaySport ZX5 pocket camcorder. Um, these Kodak PlaySport ZX5 camcorders are pretty much the same thickness as the Creative Vado second generation pocket camcorder, but they're a little bit wider in width not that much wider but just a little bit wider so I have to figure out how to make the, the velcro um, hook and loop um, adhesive tape that I'm going to use I'm going to uh, pretty much do the same um, with my Creative Vado 2nd Gen. Um, I think it's, it's, uh, it's going to be uh, doable. Um, like I said, it's, uh, it's just a little bit wider. But the surface is sort sort of curved, so the curve on on the camera, even if it's just a slight curve, it will allow me to mesh the the fuzzy the fuzzy side of the Velcro onto the uh, hooks. Um, But uh, I've got a uh, time tomorrow to to actually go ahead and uh, put Velcro on the ZX5. Um, The only downside with the ZX5 is that I think the the Vado takes better footage in low light. Uh, there's a little bit of noise in the ZX5 when I'm when I've uh, recorded uh, driving at night. 
So what I'll try to do is uh, use the ZX-5 to record videos during the day and use the Vado 2nd Gen uh, during the night. But uh, I can't wait till I, I get to ride my motorcycles again. I'm pretty excited about that. Um, I enjoy going really fast and I I, I, uh, I enjoy the speed that I can uh, accelerate with especially when I ride my R1 but uh, this is it for this video this is USS Princeton 2004 signing out